Hey guys, we're talking about whiplash today, and I want to give you three things to do at home if you've suffered a whiplash injury. So the first thing is range of motion. Now, this is, if this is early on after an, a whiplash type injury, like a car accident, um, you got to do pain-free range of motion. You can't be forcing yourself past ranges of motion if it hurts. You know, your body's telling you, you know, don't do that. Um, there's only a limited range. If you're, if you're dealing with these whiplash injuries, your body's going to protect you. It doesn't want you moving past these range of motion. You can do further damage. So easy range of motion, pain-free in all planes of motion. You want to go side to side with rotation, ear to shoulder each direction, and then forwards and backwards. So nice, easy, pain-free range of motion. One action you can add in there, it's kind of a combination of movements. It's really good for these facet joints in your neck is extension and rotation together, side to side. Nice and slow, back and forth. It's a really great motion. You can do that anywhere. Um, so second thing is an isometric exercise. You're activating the tissue, these stabilizing muscles in your spine. So you're gonna do the same thing almost with that range of motion, except you're gonna use your hand as a resistance. So you're just pushing into the hand gently, both directions. And you can actually do a little bit of a stretch after you engage that muscle. So it's a push and a stretch. And you can do that in all planes of motion, forwards, backwards, rotational motions as well with that resistance. Um, <clears throat> third one here is a chin tuck or an extension exercise with resistance. So the chin tuck is pulling your chin in, almost like giving yourself a double chin. You're squeezing those neck muscles. This helps to strengthen the tissues up on the back side of the neck. I like to do this one a little bit more because um, as, we, as we do a chin tuck, our curve in our neck starts to flatten out. We don't really want to have a flat curve in our neck. That's a big problem nowadays, especially because we're doing this a lot. So chin tuck's okay. I think this one works a little bit better using your hands as resistance, both hands, and you're going to let your head fall back and relax. So you're pushing into the hands, engaging this tissue in your neck and your upper back because these are the tissues that are holding your head up and those are damaged a lot of times in a whiplash injury. So uh, a little bonus um, advice here is just some of these postural exercises. You know, when our posture starts to fail, it puts more stress and strain on these tissues in the upper back and the neck. So uh, if we're using phones a lot, we're sitting at screens, our posture starts to fail, we get really tight through the pectoral muscles. So we wanna stretch out these tissues and the pecs using like a door frame or a wall, opening these up, stretch uh, the pectoral and the anterior shoulder and strengthening these tissues in the neck and the upper back. A good one that you can do is called the YWTL. And you're just making that letter with your arms as you squeeze your shoulder blades back. So Y would be up here and you're keeping your head in good upright posture. So you're squeezing, picture there's like uh, a coin in between uh, your shoulder blades. You're trying to squeeze it there so you don't let it hit the ground. So this would be Y. W, T is straight out, squeezing those shoulder blades together. And then L is down here, you're getting the lower aspect of the scapula, the lower trap muscle. Um, you should hold those for about 10 to 15 seconds each time you do those. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop us a line and we'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.